So this is one of our polyperyl bender actuator samples as, as we make it. The white area is polyvinylidene fluoride filter membrane. It's coated in gold on both sides and then the gold acts as an electrode for deposition of polyperyl which is the black layer. So we produce fairly large samples and then we're able to cut these into strips for actuation testing. These are usually a couple of millimetres wide. We use a sharp scalpel for the cuts because we don't want the polyperyl layers to short out uh, from one side to the other. So we make a cut through there. Now the, the connection to the polyperyl is by, well we use these tweezers set up so that there's a bit of mechanical pressure on the polypyrrole and we have to use contacts that are either stainless steel or platinum or gold wires. Uh, other types of wires will corrode so and dim diminish the performance of the actuator over time. So these are just stainless steel wires wrapped around the end of the insulated, uh, insulated tweezers. So I'm just going to uh, put the sample and close up the tweezers make sure the wires are not touching one another okay that looks good and now I have to dip the sample in our electrolyte we're using here lithium is trifluoromethane sulfinamide in propylene carbonate and water mixture as the electrolyte so I've put some of that electrolyte into this vial here and now I'm just going to just uh, soak the sample in the electrolyte just for a few seconds. It really doesn't take long to absorb the electrolyte. And then I can dab it dry on a piece of uh, tissue. You know, the, the electrolyte is actually absorbed into the middle PVDF layer of the actuator. Okay, so now if I make electrical contact to the, the, uh, the connecting wires and then I apply a 1.5 volt um, just for 1.5 volt battery this is just a switch box so if I turn it on you get some bending in one direction or reverse the polarity goes back the other direction that's a typical response in air. Now that will diminish over time as the, the electrolyte slowly evaporates and that's one reason why we use propylene carbonate, it's slower to evaporate than water. But if that actuator was then, the system was placed into a water bath then the electrolyte would disappear pretty quickly and we wouldn't um, see very long response. So we've developed various different encapsulation systems. The, the easiest, but perhaps not the best performing, is just to use some nail polish, some acrylic nail polish, which uh, we can simply paint onto the both surfaces of the uh, actuator. Trying to get fairly thin coating. Remember to coat the edges as well. And this extends a lifetime of the actuator once it's actually immersed in water. Now for the best performance it would also be best to coat the electrode areas but I don't want to do that in this case because I want to reuse this uh, tweezer setup. But if for more permanent longer lasting connection um, we would coat everything, try and encapsulate everything. Okay so I'll just Make sure there's no shorting out. Let's see. Let's see whether it still works. Yep. Now there's a trade-off between how thick to make the coating. The trade-off is that the thicker the coating, the longer it will last, but the smaller will be the tip displacement. Slightly smaller and slower will be the tip displacement. But once this is dry, we can then put it in the uh, water and see how it performs in a water solution. Now I will just uh, put the actuator into some liquid water. 
and let's see if it still works. Yeah, still moving quite adequately. Without the encapsulating coating, it wouldn't last very long in water, but with this type of acrylic coating, it will last for a short time. We have developed other spray-on rubbery encapsulating coatings, but they're more difficult to apply. Okay. Now, just to a note on safety, you'll notice I'm wearing a nitrile gloves and that's mainly to protect myself from the electrolyte which is toxic. So we just adequately protect ourselves while we're uh, preparing the samples. Once it's fully encapsulated then they're quite safe to use. Okay.